CPU. CPU stands for Central Processing Unit. You can think of it as the brain of the computer. Just like your brain makes decisions and tells your body what to do, the CPU controls every single operation inside the computer. For example, when you click on an app, it's the CPU that tells the system to open it. If you write something on the keyboard, the CPU processes that input and shows it on the screen. So without the CPU, the computer would not be able to think or act at all. GPU Now, if the CPU is the brain, then the GPU is like the artist or designer. GPU stands for Graphics Processing Unit. It is responsible for drawing images, making video smoother, and giving life to games. When you play a game with beautiful graphics, or you watch a high-quality movie, the GPU is the one working hard in the background. It paints every picture you see on the screen, frame by frame, very quickly. That's why gamers and video editors always look for strong GPUs. RAM Next, we have RAM. RAM means Random Access Memory. This is like a notebook you keep on your table while studying. You only write things on it that you need right now. When you open apps, files, or games, they run inside the RAM. But here's the catch. Once you shut down the computer, RAM forgets everything. That's why it's called short-term memory. The bigger the RAM, the more apps and programs you can run at the same time without slowing down. Hard drive. On the other hand, storage is the long-term memory of the computer. It's like a cupboard, shelf, or library where you keep your important books, photos, videos, and documents. Even if the computer is turned off, the storage keeps everything safe. There are two main types. HDD, hard disk drive, works like a big library but is slower. SSD, solid state drive, works like a super fast locker, much quicker than HDD. That's why modern computers use SSDs, so everything loads faster. Motherboard. Now, let's meet the motherboard. The motherboard is like a city map where all the roads connect. It joins the CPU, GPU, RAM, storage, and other parts so they can communicate with each other. If the CPU wants to send data to RAM, it goes through the motherboard. If the GPU wants to receive instructions, it also goes through the motherboard. So without this map, no part would know how to reach another. That's why it's called the backbone of the computer. Power supply. But even if everything is connected, without energy, nothing will run, right? That's where the power supply unit, or PSU, comes in. It's just like the heart in our body, pumping electricity to every single part of the computer. The PSU converts electricity from your wall socket into safe power that your components can use. If the PSU fails, the whole system shuts down instantly. Case. Now, all these parts need a home. That's the job of the computer case. Think of it as the house that protects the family living inside. The case keeps dust, damage, and heat away from the components. Some cases are simple, while gaming cases look really stylish with colorful RGB lights. It's not just about looks. A good case also helps airflow, which keeps the computer cool. Wireless card. What about connecting to the world? That's where wireless components come in like Wi-Fi cards and Bluetooth. They are like invisible messengers inside the computer. Wi-Fi helps you connect to the internet without cables, while Bluetooth lets you connect devices like headphones, keyboards, or phones. These components make communication fast and wire-free. Cooling system. Now imagine this. When you run a marathon, your body heats up, right? The same thing happens to computers when they work hard. That's why we need a cooling system. Fans, heat sinks, and even liquid cooling work like the air conditioner of your PC. They remove extra heat so that the computer can keep working smoothly. Without cooling, parts can overheat and stop working. Conclusion So, as we can see, a computer is not just one part, but a team. The CPU is the brain. The GPU is the artist. RAM is the notebook. Storage is the cupboard. The motherboard is the city map. The PSU is the heart. The case is the house. Wireless components are the messengers. And cooling is the air conditioner. Each part has its own special role, and together they make the computer powerful and smart. So next time you use your computer, you'll know what's happening inside. 
a team of parts working together just for you.